So this is my office um, where I work during the day and make YouTube videos at night. I spent a lot of money in this room. I love my big monitors that I've got here because I work from home. So it's really important that I feel comfortable and productive. In terms of automations, the first time I walk in here during the day, this like motion sensor here will detect me. It will open up the blinds for the first time, turn the lights on, it actually powers up the desk as well. One of the things I try and do with my smart home is to save power by turning things off when I'm not using them. Um, so there's a smart plug back there that turns on the monitor so they're not wasting standby power at night, um, powers everything up. And then I've got different scenes that I set from either a remote control here or from my tablet so that I can press video conference and it turns my key light on and sets the lights behind me so I look really cool on video calls. Um, I have a YouTube mode which sets the lights in a certain way for when I'm doing my filming. I've also got my desk actually hooked in as well and if I haven't moved it to the, the standing up position for four hours or so, it actually sends me a notification saying you've been sitting down too long, you, you fat bastard, um, stand up and, and you know move yourself around a bit bit of WLED lighting behind here which do different effects and such. I've got some lights in my plants here as well. This is something I've been doing a lot lately. It lights them up from underneath. I just think it looks really cool. That was the office. Um, all of the hallways and stairwells have pretty much the similar automations. The blinds here go up and down automatically in the morning and the evening. If it's going to be hot that day based on the forecast temperature, they stay quite low so that the heat doesn't come in. And if it's you know going to be cool, they go all the way up to the top. Got lights down along the top of the stairs here on all the levels. It's actually one of the reasons I bought the house. They just look so cool. They come on at night when motion's detected on the stairwell. Stop you falling down the stairs and breaking your neck. So, got the bedroom here. Most of the automations here are designed for comfort during the nighttime because that's when we spend time here. I've lived in a lot of share houses. I've hated having to turn the lights on at night to go to the bathroom. So what I tried to do here was make it so that when I got up in the middle of the night, I was able to see what I'm doing without blinding myself. I've got motion sensors underneath the bedside tables here, which turn on as soon as the feet touch the ground. The lights come on under the bed so I can walk into the bathroom, not step on any Lego or anything like that. My favorite thing in this room is these touch panels here. It makes me feel like I'm living in an expensive hotel. Um, we had some gross switches here before, so I just reused that area to, to place these in. I can control everything in the room from here. I can turn the lights on and off. I can adjust the volume of the music. I can change the air conditioning, adjust the blinds. It's just, just really awesome. I can do everything from the side of the bed. I cop a lot of flack on my comments on YouTube. Why don't you just use your phone? I don't want to have to unlock my phone in the middle of the night, open up an app, press a button. It's really inconvenient. Um, what I can do is just press a button here, all the lights will turn off, roll over and go to sleep. I've also got sensors underneath the bed to detect if I'm in the bed or not. Um, so when you know we've been in bed for, for 20 minutes, we're both in bed, uh, it shuts down everything in the house, turns off all of the power for things that aren't needed, um, sets the alarm so that you know it goes on to night mode. Anything that necessarily needs to happen at night time will happen automatically. And when we get up in the morning, it detects we're out of bed. If we've been out of the room for 20 minutes, the blinds come on and all the lights turn off. Here we are in the kitchen. Uh, my dad and I put all these smart lights in here. They're all individually addressable LEDs. There's actually some speakers here in the ceiling that came with the house. And one of the reasons that I bought the house because it had all this tech already in there. Um, I put in an access point here so that there was great Wi-Fi coverage because we spend a lot of time in here. And everything in this room can be controlled here. All of the lighting is controlled by scenes. You can turn up and down the volume of the audio. And we also can see the front door camera here. This kitchen we actually got installed when we moved in, so I had a lot of opportunity to add new technology or uh, retrofit things, but some of the things are already existing here. We have an old school intercom system that came with the house. It's janky, I don't like it. It doesn't even work most of the time. Um, I'm gonna replace that soon. I, I haven't figured out what to do with that yet. The heating system was also here. It was able to be integrated into my smart home, which was really handy. A viewer actually told me that this was possible. And then we have our light switches. Um, it's really important that you have really obvious light switches that guests can use. These are smart switches, but you can just use them as normal. Turn the, the light up and down, press them to turn them off. Shall we head down to the living room? Here we've got the living room. A lot of the same tech came with the house that we've got in the other rooms. And I've got two different types of switches here. I've got the press button on off ones and the dimmers that we've got before. Over here I've got my 3D printer. Um, I thought it was a good idea to buy, but I don't actually know how to use it. I'm hoping to learn that. 
We've got my TV here. This whole room is a work in progress. It's my living room. We haven't uh, renovated it yet, but I've got a few basic automations here. They turn on when we trigger the motion sensor here. The lights all come on in this room and they dim when we start watching TV. And when we pause the TV to get up and get a drink, the light room brightens up again. That's kind of the basic automation I've got in here. This whole room is a work in progress. I don't know what we should do with it. Cinema room. If you've got any ideas about what works well in a room like this, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from other people. But yeah, a lot of opportunity. I regularly release videos about home automation and smart homes in general. By joining along on this journey, you can learn what I'm learning and then together we can make your home smarter.